Hello and welcome back to Diablo 3. Um, we're actually in the same game session. Um, we're about to jump into Act 4 Bounties, uh, so I will um, just cut straight to the game. Okay, right. I'm thinking we should start with the Besieged Tower, as it's on the left, and a standard way of going. I've uh, switched my skills out a little bit, so I've got rabid zombie dogs now, and I can explode them, and I've got zombie chargers. Oh, uh, and also I do this. I've changed things a little, but only to get rid of my really stupid Blessed Hammer. <laughs> blessed Hammer is very stupid. Right, let's see how Plague of Toads does. Zombie Charger. It's really hard to tell what... Jeez, that bat's big. Oh yeah, I made my bat bigger. <laughs> <laughs> really hard to tell what's being effective and what isn't. Yes. I know how you feel. Are you okay? Yes, Pause. I okay. am fine. Sorry, <laughs> I was just fiddling with my phone. <laughs> That's alright. Alright, so Zombie Charger is short-ish range. That's good to know. Man, I love having mobility so quickly. Yeah, uh, Crusaders are very, very fast. Alright, kill everything! Now, does it still fly through things, or...? Really hard to tell. I think it does still fly through them. You all right? Yep. Just getting some more range because I saw that cat coming. Oh. Standing in a wall. I popped a healing potion just for a moment. I'm not a fan of these Plague of Toads. I mean, conceptually, it's very <laughs> funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like most of the Witch Doctor, though. It's conceptually, it's very funny. But... It's, it's hard to tell if it's being effective or if it's you. There you go. This is me not attacking. I, I know the zombie dogs are quite effective. And they're explodable, which is always good. Jeez, fireballs do not like fireballs. Get that health. No, they're bouncing the wrong way. God damn it. I'll tell you what, this feels far more chaotic than last oh, season. Right. I'm going to change sacrifice a haunt. Because I'm not actually sacrificing the zombie dogs when they get in there. And I'm going to swap Plague of Toads over because... Screw that shit. <laughs> uh, let's go Splinters. Well, no, let's, let's do Leaping Spiders. I will switch over for Firebomb eventually. <laughs> hey, Greg. Full of eels. Eels up inside you. Ew. Ew, I'll trot on them. Yeah, I like the eels. It, it means I'm not using my fire bats or... anymore, but the eels are good. I hear a treasure goblin. Haunted it. Heels up inside it. Yeah, 
Yeah, level 16. Level 16 as well. All right. Spirit Walk. Ooh. Right, let's change Zombie ch Charger over for my runaway skill. Da -da 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 Hmm. Alright, what does it do? Uh, oh yeah, I just get to move freely. Okay, let's move on to Watch Your Step, Gardens of Pope, third tier. I would pretend that there's method to my madness, but there isn't. Enter the Holy Sanctum. Don't know where that is. I want pool of eels to recharge faster. <laughs> oh, you just need cooldown stuff then, don't you? Yeah. All right, that's not where we're going. Oh wait, I can do that. Look at me! Look at me! I'm a horse. <laughs> Ghost horse. <laughs> I actually quite like this combination because it's it's got things that I do regularly and things that I do for special extra damage. So this is manageable rather than like, oh my god, I need to be doing everything at the same time kind of thing. Hey, unique yeah. ring. What? Unique ring? Yep. God damn it! Why do you get the first unique? Because you used a stupid hand-me-down thing. Your face is a stupid hand-me-down. Yeah, I'm an owl's heel. It didn't tell me that you looted it. Very weird. Eels. Eels. Up inside you. Rats. Wow, oh, you yeah. are really getting ahead with the uh, XP bonuses. It will be absolutely fine until you realise that the level is set to my level, not yours. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop using Provoke. <laughs> what that will mean. <laughs> that will be the, uh, the balancing thing, won't it? Maybe that's why they've always been attacking me, because I'm like a little bit ahead. It's a shame that like, zombie dogs don't trigger Odin's son. Yes, I suppose. At least I don't think they do. I've not seen them cause any uh, chain lightning or anything. Also, I've not gone above um, three zombie dogs, so I'm guessing that there is a hard limit until uh, until I get other things. You know, things dying near me. So I'm going to change Circle of Life over for... Gruesome Feast. Oh, it's this one. Once you step on them, they become solid. Yep. And things land on them. Eels up inside you. Up inside you. Let's not stand in the middle of that. This is all right. I remember this puzzle used to be harder. I think because uh, they used to then vanish again after a while and you'd constantly be fighting while you were on there. Yep. 
And you are still sort of constantly fighting, but nowhere near as badly. Ah, oh, Oxalotl. Let's haunt you. Have some eels up inside you. I'm pretty sure the eels are probably just electrocuting their feet rather than climbing up inside them. That would be awful. <laughs> That's the idea. It's supposed to be awful. Alright, I'm just heading through the portal. <laughs> Through that, right. Let's head to the Black King's Legacy. Right, Silver Spire. <laughs> yeah. Find the portal to the... Oh, this is a new one. Ooh. Right, periodically bounties can come through portals and they take us to brand new zones. Ooh, fantastic. This is new. Yeah. Exciting, isn't it? Oh, the portal's right here. Alright. That'll be easy. Ow! I'm fine. Good. All fine. There was just something that exploded that I didn't see. inside that one. There we go. Devouring Ooh. Wrecker. Hey, level 18. Oh, congratulations. Alright. Inspect the cursed chest. Alright. Oh, Wait, don't do that just yet. I kind of want to change back to my stupid blessed hammer thing. By all means, prep all you need. Just swap that over. Uh, let's see. Sweep attack. That sounds stupid. Yeah, sure. Ready? Um, whatever you are. I'm just switching out my equipment. Okay. Uh... Eels up inside him. Eels up inside him. Oh, arcane enchanted. Yep, that becomes less cool. <laughs> This is alright. This, be this it, Blizzard yeah, Hammer is, is not fun. too bad, actually. Like, all things considered. Now, there's one that's like this, except you have to kill burrowing things. And they've got a lot of health, and they run away, and they burrow. And they're little fuckers, <laughs> and they're impossible to track down. And you can't finish it at all until you've killed six of them. It's horrible. Anyway. This zone go... feels like a PvP zone. Let's go kill the Aspect of C. All right. Uh, it's obviously Leoric's Gardens, can't you tell? Uh, no. No, I cannot. Ooh. That's a lot of death. Watch out. I think the cat stroked me and I didn't see it. <laughs> For those that haven't followed before, there was an in joke last season that the giant hell walker things, whatever they're actually called, are kind of like the hell equivalent of cats, because they just keep trying to run up to you and rub themselves up against you, even when you don't want them to. Mallet lords, that's them. Yeah, and you know, stroke you in the face and or or. Because part of the law says that no one really owns them. 
<laughs> They're just sort of in hell. Oh, it's, it's the spitty things that were hitting me. That's what it was. The wall sphincters. I guess, yeah, I was, I was getting sphincter shat. There's a cursed chest over here. Let's uh, clear some things first. Right, let's clear the area completely. Okay. Nearly convinced it's safe. Let's get this incinerator. Alright. You want to do the cursed chest? Sure. Yeah, let me just explode through him. Ha ha. He is gonna die so easily. Nice. And I got a ruby. And I got... Power Ranger Transform, apparently. <laughs> and I got a Gargantium. Hello! Ah, oh, Spike Sparding. Right. Yes. I want that. Yes, I do. That on, and got some shoulder bits. Oh, yeah. What did I pick up? They're good. They right, let's be. head down towards where we're supposed to be going. That's good. I'll wear that. Very nearly level uh, 21, which will be uh, Born set, and then 23, which will be Kane set. Now, my uh, wizard is still using Kane set, which is level 23 set at level 61. Oh, I'm not sure your wizard is playing sensibly. Bearing in mind it's me, you're probably right there. Is that you causing lightning from the heavens? That what I was the lightning from the heavens. Oh, you got falling sword. <laughs> yes. All right, let's haunt this guy. And we'll get a. More reels, more reels, more reels. That worked. Didn't drop anything though. He dropped a small shield for me. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so jealous, you know. Oh, well, you know, I've always got it one level higher than you. <laughs> yeah. It is uh, pretty typical, you know. I, in fact, no, what would be more typical is if you've got a unique and I got nothing. <laughs> Get to haunt in there. In a bit, we'll be uh, checking out skills and see if there's anything new to switch over to, I think. that. Level 20. Yeah. Oh, you as well. Unique two-handed sword. Oh, you're nice. Oh, God damn it. He teleported just as I got my e eels out. <laughs> oh, new skill, bad medicine. Okay, right. Let's have a look at this sword. Let's see. Chances, chances are I will be using this. It's the Zweihander. Damage 103 goes up to damage 307. And a new passive skill. 20% of mana cost of pain in life. That seems you like know, a that bad would actually do me yeah. less damage, I suppose, because it's a, it's a stupid intelligence sword. Who wants an intelligence sword? Um, I would. <laughs> you know? Nah. All right, so what's zombie dogs? Chill to the bone. Yeah, I hear do... a treasure goblin at the start of the next place. <laughs> oh, right, okay, I'll be there in a moment. I'm literally just uh, picking my... Uh, updating my haunt skill and stuff. As opposed to figuratively updating it. Yeah. Metaphorically updating it. Okay. 
Where are you? There you are. Yeah, I moved out of the way just to make sure that I actually wouldn't get it. Do I want Shackle? Mm, no, probably not. Surge might be good later. Blessed Hammer, yeah, that's still alright. I suppose I could go Captain America a bit. <laughs> pudding, pudding. Let's try that for a bit. Oh yeah, I hear. Down in the middle, there he yep. is. Let's haunt it. Got him. That was some pretty good equipment I got out of that as well. I got All a lot right. of blues. Let's head. A perfect strike. Oh, did you see my shield throw? No, my dude just said it. I see you uh, move even faster now. I picked up the um, speed boost, but also I just like horse charged through a load of pots to get the. That, that's uh, what I meant. Your your horse looks different, although that could just be because we're in hell. Oh no, uh, I mean it, heaven. It is different. It's not faster. It's just more spiky. Okay. Oh, always a proof of uh, more spikiness on horses. I think I'm going to go back to stupid hammer. I mean, shield throw is kind of funny, but is it, once you get the uh, jacking board, uh, very cool. There you go. I'm just going to run straight in. Alright, I'll be there in a minute. I'm just hammering that dude. Nah, fine. Accept. Ooh. Right, I've got Bleating, Blessed, and something else that I can't tell because it won't give me a mouse over for it. There, yeah. Oh, that's that just saying... means there's two. Yes. Ah. <laughs> that's like combination strike. It just took me a moment to figure it out. Hold you. Heels up inside you. Horns up inside you. Killed him with heels. Oh, I'm full of junk. Uh, Perfect good. timing to head back and get the reliquary. Yes. Um, can I drop anything else? Probably don't. No, let's get rid of that. Pick this up just for the slight benefit. Oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> you <laughs> cock munch. I seem to remember there was a time when you did that to me. What was a, that worth it? Yes, it was. What a ball ache. <laughs> Unique shoulders in that uh, reliquary. I hope they're just the town portal ones. No, because it is uh, linked to the act that you're in, isn't it? I thought all the uniques that came out of it were specific. Nah. Alright, well, I already have the Town Portal ones in my stash waiting to be used. No, it's Pultons of the Skeleton King. Yeah, it, it, all the ones that you get are specific to it. So that's pretty perfect. I'm very happy about that. Right, let's put Odin's son back in my bag. Because I was going to switch over to homing pads, but these are far better. Let's see. Is anything of mine better? No, 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 Oh, it's, it's more experience, but it means I give up a potential extra life. Let's do it. Archie, I only need the two. If we do this... I lose a little bit of damage, but if I go forge weapons and get myself a nice mojo.
Yeah, I lose a little bit of damage, but uh, I should gain experience faster. And let's put that in there. So, what am I going to do with the Zvi hand? I'm going to have to salvage it. Unless you want it? Mm, no, I don't think so. Oh, that's, no, no. No? It's a little bit tempted, but ultimately, no. Right, do I want to make a different weapon? No. Chance to blind on hit is fine, plus 3% damage. It got pretty bad rolls overall. But it'll do. Right, let's make a new one. This one is better. And worse. <laughs> let's make another. Sounds great. This one is better and worse. This one is better and worse. Let's um let's stick a ruby in it. Uh yeah. Plus sixty damage. That's gonna Yes. <laughs> Overkill much? That's all right. The, the ruby in it is the uh, the kicker. Yeah, so I was thinking of doing the same, but with like a uh, topaz in it. Why a topaz? What does topaz do? Topaz is this season's thorn damage. Oh, in weapons. Ooh. But I need to forge one with a socket first in order to make that a thing. Right, I'm going to go to Shen now. And... Shen, let's um, let's combine up all my gems. And you know what? I don't think it's worth it at the moment. Let's salvage that. Well, it, because I'm going to be using these items for absolutely ages. Let's have a look. Because my secondaries, I could change this heavenly strength to be something better. Like further, for example. Or righteousness. Further, probably. I, why can't I make a marquee topaz? I've got the required materials. I've got enough of gold. It's listed. Is it red? It's red. Then train up your artisan. Oh, 11. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Okay, uh, remove gems. Let's take that gem out the middle. And you can have one of those in instead. Plus 58 intelligence. It's not huge amounts, but it's a, it's a difference. Okay. Uh, let's do... Ruby next. Because I'm going to get something better than that. Yeah. In there. Even if it's just like a star ruby. So I could, yeah, I could throw a ruby in there. Get myself a little bit extra strength. Probably worthwhile. Gem combiner. Plus 130 damage, wow. So, naturally, it did, like, 30 to 50 damage. Now it goes up to 183. That is... Oh, stupid bollocks. <sighs> you alright? The, um, the drop-down for Forged Jewelry only lists all and have materials. Oh, yeah, not highest usable. Yes, so required level 29 for this ring that I've just made. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't see it. Oh, I shall just shove that in there for later. Oh, that's that's kind of funny. Oh, well, at least I didn't need that ruby for anything. Uh, no, I mean, uh, diamond slash uh, amethyst. Let's craft a couple of these. Yeah, I'm I'm just making everything up while I'm here. Oh, right, I'm actually out of money. All right, let's stop. That's a good time to stop. Okay. Give it some strength. I'll do. Those go there, those go there, those go there. And these are prepped for later. Good. Right, I think this is another good point to uh, stop an episode. I agree. Uh, after we've uh, run through an entire act's bounties and done some weapon upgrading, I look at the position we're in for next time. 
yes yeah uh, thank you very much for watching everyone and uh see you soon <laughs>